perform stability analysis in steel design, the definition of effective lengths is necessary to determine the critical load for the stability failure. After assigning the effective length to an object, the settings are taken into account in the stability design. In determination type, forms of stability failure can be selected for the objects to be designed. Under compressive stress, flexural buckling can want a strong or big axis, as well as torsional buckling can be decisive. Also, total torsional buckling and torsional buckling can be investigated as a combination. In the buckling axis section, users can decide to perform stability analysis for geometric section axis as well as principal section axis. In this step, by entering nodal supports, users can define the boundary conditions for buckling analysis. It is possible for selected nodes to define support type, boundary conditions for individual axis, and also it is possible to assign spring restraints to these nodal supports. In effective length factors, users can adapt the buckling length, which is used for the verification of a failure mode at one point in this segment, which is affecting the results.